They play hard. You got to tip your hat to them. They definitely play hard. But you can't go freaking bear hunting with BB gun. There's no tomorrow. We don't win today. Uh, I enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, from the times I chased a bear to the times I had a moose chase me to, you know, us winning a championship and, and being able to go and and playing the final game. Uh, we ended up finishing second that year, but uh, we had a good team and uh, it was exciting. Well, we were uh, driving back from uh, Fairbanks and uh, uh, this big old bear had crossed the street uh, in front of us, so I got out with my camera and started chasing it up the hill. And as it went into the woods a little bit, uh, I kind of threw a rock in there uh, to have him turn around so I could t take a picture of him. And, to my surprise, a little bit ways to the left of me, there was kind of a bigger bear, and I think it was his mother, and she wasn't too happy, and I turned around and ran back and got in the car, and we got out of there real quick. <laughs> oh, we were uh, on the side of the road again, the moose had crossed the road, and, and I had got out to uh, take some pictures, I always had my camera with me. And as I got out to take uh, a picture, it was a baby moose, uh, the mother was not too happy and she started uh, snorting and uh, she ended up starting to charge uh, towards the car that we were at and again we got in the car and got out of there real quick. <laughs> I think everybody that played up there over the years after I went there and played, uh, the first person they always asked about is uh, Jack O'Toole. Have you seen Jack O'Toole? So he's a legend in his own mind, in our minds, but uh, uh, he was part of the Alaska League and I think everybody that went up there knew Jack O'Toole. I just remember him smoking about 18 cigars a day and uh, you know he had his little uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, personality that was great. It was always great to be around Jack. Uh, well, I was supposed to have reported in Oklahoma. Uh, they, I played football for Oklahoma and Barry Switzer was trying to, to find me and uh, I was hiding out in Wichita with uh, uh, the Glacier Pilots and uh, eventually he found me. I couldn't hide there very long, but uh, we had a good team and I think uh, the final game ended up like two to one. and. One of our other coaches, Ron Renneke, happened to be playing uh, uh, in that league too and playing for the other team that I played with. Uh, again, it was a great league. I remember going up to Kenai and uh, practicing in short sleeve shirts and, and about 15 minutes later we were starting fires in our dugout. It dropped about 50 degrees and uh, uh, that was an experience in itself. <laughs> It was a chance for me to get away and, and do something and I wanted to play baseball and, and they were going to pay me to do it and get me a job and uh, uh, so I decided I wanted to do that. It was a free shot to go to Alaska and, and I tell you what, it was, it, I, I enjoyed it. I think it's great and I think it's great for uh, any college kids to get an opportunity to play in that league. When I played there, uh, I mean it was the best league in, in baseball to go play in the summer leagues. Uh, I had a chance to go to Colorado and, and, and I remember Alaska came up and I decided I wanted to go there and the experience was great. And I get, I, the experience of staying with the family, uh, the experience of not having the sun go down, uh, the experience of the blue waters and the rivers and, uh, and just the scenery. Uh, to the mosquitoes that were as big as eagles. To, uh, there was so much there that I had a chance to, uh, uh, to see. Oh, the family program was great. I think everybody that stayed with the family up there enjoyed the family. They you became part of the family. And uh, uh, I had, the family, I had two boys and two girls. So uh, being from a family that didn't have any sisters, I ended up having sisters that year. And uh, it, was, it was a great thrill for me.